Hey guys, this is an, a video on operations with imaginary numbers. So I'm assuming that you already know what an imaginary number is before you watch this video. I'll be talking about multiplying, um, adding and subtracting, and dividing with imaginary numbers. So like I said, you should definitely be comfortable with this. If you have no idea what an imaginary number is, I've got a link in the comments just to kind of going over the basics of that. Uh, as a reminder, pause and try the examples and there are always free guided notes available. So let's just jump right into it. Um, so we're going to start by talking about adding and subtracting with imaginary numbers. This works probably just like you might suspect it does. Um, so you basically almost add this like you would any like terms. So here, notice with how I have this written, the reason I have parentheses written around this is just to signify here's one complex number and here's another complex number. So it's, it's just kind of as a visual cue. But notice that this, these parentheses aren't actually doing anything for us. They're not, they're not adding anything to the problem, so we can almost just kind of ignore them. So as you might uh, suspect, so you can go ahead and you can add the terms with the i's in them. So that'll be 5 plus 2 is 7, so this is 7i, and then 3 plus 6 is 9, and so that's it. So um, I think that's pretty straightforward. Um, so why don't you just pause the video and maybe give these two a try and hit play when you're ready. So notice here with a, so now I'm subtracting, so I might want to actually just take a second to distribute that minus sign. And so then if I just kind of collect now what I've got, um, this is going to be negative i plus 11. And then for this other one, so um, 5 plus 2 is going to give me this is 7i, and then 3 minus 1, this will be 2. So that's it for those. So that, that's pretty straightforward. Okay, so I've talked about this in another video, but I want to review this fact one more time. So what is i squared? Well, remember, i is just the square root of negative 1. So if I were to square this, so what will actually happen is the, the square root symbol will actually just drop. So this will actually just equal negative 1. So this is a really key fact for you to know i squared equals negative 1. That is a big deal when you're working with imaginary numbers because it's a fact that we use a lot. So if I look at, for instance, this problem here, so I have to multiply. So you're going to distribute right in like you would any other problem set up like this. And when I do that, so I get 6i squared plus 2i. And this is why I just brought up what I brought up about i squared because this will require you now to manipulate your answer. So what's happening here, this becomes 6 times negative 1 plus 2i. So ultimately, this becomes negative 6 plus 2i. So that's something you have to watch out for. So with that in mind, um, why don't you pause the video and give these a try. So this first one, so this, will, this one does not have an i in front, so we don't have to worry about that little trick we just talked about. So this would just be 8 minus 12i, we're done there. Then for b, so now if I distribute here, I get 18i squared plus 12i. So now I have to just rewrite this as negative 18 plus 12i. And that's because, um, so it's i squared, so this is just going to change the sign. So you can almost think of just i squared as, as flipping whatever sign you've got. Now for this other one, this becomes 10i minus 40i squared. So this becomes 10i plus 40. So again, just flip the sign. Okay, so now let's make this just a little bit harder. Um, so this, for these, you're going to have to foil these. You can go ahead and pause and hit play when you're ready. Otherwise, I'll go through an example with you. So as I'm foiling here, so I do first 5i times 2i. So that's going to be 10i squared. 5i times negative 3, that's going to be minus... 15i, i times 2i, that's plus 2i, and then 1 times negative 3, that's going to be minus 3. So there's all the pieces when I actually multiply this out. But now you can notice the plot twist with this. So we've got this i squared, so we're going to have to rewrite this. So now I've got negative 10 minus 13i minus 3, and then this becomes negative 13i minus 13. So that would be the answer for that one. Okay, so moving on to the next one, this is going to be 24i squared plus 28i minus 18i minus 21. And now this will become negative 24 
plus 10i minus 21. So my final answer here is going to be 10i minus 45. And that's all you can do for that one. Okay, so now let's talk about just this example uh, really quick. Um, so I, I put an A here. I guess we don't even really need it. But um, So what do you do when you are squaring this? So just a quick reminder. So you have to actually rewrite this as 5i plus 2 times itself. That's what it means to square this. And then you FOIL this out again. So after I do that, then this just becomes 25i squared plus 10i plus 10i plus 4. And so then I keep working this out. I get negative 25 plus 25 plus 4. And then in the end, um, let's see, I'll get negative 21 plus 20i. So now why don't you pause the video and try this one. Hit play when you're ready. Alright, so I'm going to have 3i minus 5 times 3i minus 5. So let me work this out. I get 9i squared minus 15i minus 15i plus 25. So this becomes negative 9 minus 30i plus 25. And so then ultimately this will give me 16 minus 30i. So that's it for that one. Okay, so now let's talk about division. Um, so we have to rationalize expressions that look like this. So maybe pause the video and just think about this for a second. Why must we rationalize expressions that look like this? So the reason why we have to actually rationalize this is because, remember, i is a square root. So you can't have a square root in the denominator. So you have to, to rationalize this. And so how do you actually do that? Well, you just multiply by the conjugate, just like you would um, with any other rationalization. Now, if you're not familiar with what this actually means, um, I have a just a, a couple of videos on, on the conjugate and, and what it means to rationalize expressions like this. So I'll drop that video in the comments for you. OK, so let's go back to this. Let's actually rationalize. So the conjugate, remember, is just found by flipping whatever sign is, is in between these two parts here. So I'm going to multiply this by 2i minus 1 on top and on bottom. Um, and so whatever I do to the bottom, I'll, I'll do to the top. Um, so that's why we're going to do it like this. And now I have to just FOIL out the bottom here, and then I'll just distribute on top. So on top, I get 6i minus 3. And then in the bottom, this would be 4i squared plus 2i minus 2i minus 1. So let's just make this as simplified as we possibly can. So let's see, I get negative 4 minus 1 because the 2i and the minus 2i, these two pieces here will drop out. So in the end, uh, I'll take some space over here. So I get 6i minus 3 over negative 5. Now, you might think that we are done, but this is this is not technically finished. So usually when you do something like this, you want to present this as a complex number. So just as a, a side here, complex numbers have the form a plus bi. So they have to be these two separate pieces. And this is not two separate pieces. So if you want, if you have a, an instructor or you, your course requires that you have to state this as a complex number, you have to break this up. So this would be negative 6 over 5i plus 3 over 5. So I just write each part over the denominator. And then I'll just kind of mess with the sign as I need to. And depending on, maybe this is something I should have mentioned earlier, but depending on kind of how strict um, your class is about this format, you might even want to have the imaginary part coming second, like this. To me, as long as you have kind of this form or this form, so you have it as two separate pieces, that's fine to me. Um, but some instructors can have different feelings on this. So, Okay, so why don't you go ahead and pause the video and give these two a try and hit play when you're ready. Okay, so for this first one, I'm going to multiply this by 2i minus 6 on top and on bottom. So on top, this is going to be 8i minus 24. And in the bottom, this is going to be 4i squared minus 12i plus 12i minus 36. 
And so then I'm going to simplify this to 8i minus 24, not 25, over negative 4 minus 36. So I'll continue over here. So this becomes 8i minus 24, now all of this over negative 40. So now if I try to actually simplify this, so this gives me 8 over negative 40i minus, let's see, actually plus 24 over 40. So this all simplifies then to negative, let's see, I'll, I'll write this in that form. Um, so let's see, we'll start with the 24 over 40. So um, I can divide the top and bottom here both by 8. So this becomes 3 over 5 minus 1 over 5i. So that would be the most simplified form of that. Okay, so now let's do this other one. So I've got limited space here. So um, let's see, I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by i minus 3. So this will be 7i minus 21 over i squared plus 3i minus 3i minus 9. So then I get 7i minus 21 over negative 1 minus 9. And so then ultimately I will get negative 21 over, oops, sorry, this should have been negative 1, negative 21 over negative 10. So let me just write that as just 21 over 10 then. That's negative over negative plus, or nope, sorry, minus 7 over 10 i. So that would be it for that one. Okay, so now I have just a few more examples. Same idea, just slightly more complicated because you'll have to FOIL out the top. So if you're looking for more practice, you can pause and hit play um, whenever you're ready. Otherwise, that's kind of the gist of, of what you have to do here. So here, if I'm going to go ahead and rationalize, so if I start with this one, so I get 5i plus 2. I'm going to multiply that by the top and bottom. So this is going to be... 15i squared plus 6i plus 5i plus 2. And then over here, this will be 25i squared minus 10i plus 10i minus 4. So I'll go ahead now and just show you the rest of the steps to simplify uh, the rest of this. So you can see you've got i squared here and i squared here. So I'll just show you kind of all the pieces of this. And so this is actually going to be your final answer then. So that's all the, the work involved with that one. Okay, so moving on to this one. So to multiply by the conjugate, that would be 2i minus 1 on top and on bottom. So this will be 14i squared minus 7i plus 6i minus 3. And then in the bottom... This will be 4i squared plus 2i minus 2i minus 1. So once again, I'll just show you all the steps now to simplify the rest of this. And so here's the final answer for that one in that nice complex number form. Okay, so on to the last one. So the conjugate here is going to be 5i minus 3. And so I will just show you all the steps now to, to finish this off. I'll show you the solution. And so notice with this one, you could just simplify it a little bit farther. So I went ahead and did that, and there's your final answer. Okay, so that covers it for this video. Um, so I do have just a few other videos on the topic of imaginary numbers, so you can take a look at those. Otherwise, um, please consider giving this a like, comment, or a share, and I'll see you guys next time.